In new information today from those four horseback riders, the FBI credits with saving Hannah Anderson's life. Attendance reporter Joe Little has been reporting from Idaho for the past three days. Well, today he sat down with the riders as they explained they were prepared for a battle with DiMaggio. Well, we heard from those four horsemen here outside the Ada County Sheriff's Office yesterday. This morning, I visited with two of them to get a sense of how they're absorbing this whole situation. No Just sleep. Take it, take it in stride. The life of a hero. Krista John and Mike Young have been living a whirlwind since talking about a chance encounter last week in the Boise National Forest with James DiMaggio and Hannah Anderson. No one besides us had been up in that area this whole year. We were the first ones in. It was one of the many reasons why Hannah and DiMaggio stood out in their minds, long enough to recognize Hannah's picture on the news. I told my wife, I said, that is that girl we seen on the mountain. That started a media storm for the four horse riders from Sweet, Idaho. You know, we're still here kind of floating. It hasn't really set in for us yet either. And they haven't been able to keep up with the story. They haven't been home in days. We don't know what's going on. Our computers are at home. We don't know anything. They learned from 10 News DiMaggio fired at least one shot in the wilderness. I asked Mike if he felt better knowing they didn't get into a gun battle with DiMaggio. You know, it really doesn't. I, I told Mark I'd have been the first one shot off my horse. Three of the four were carrying their own guns in this forest Wednesday. It's a scenario they're happy they avoided, especially now that Hannah is safe at home. Or would you guys want to meet Hannah? Yes, I'd, I'd like to just just, I just want to give her a hug. In Boise. A grandma hug. Joe Little, 10 News.